So there's a queue for what's called the Gladiator format in the client uh, through Monday morning, I believe. So we're going to give it a try today and maybe tomorrow if today goes well. Gladiator is not commander. There's no commanders in your decks, but it is a 100 card singleton format. Um, so I've got a couple of deck lists that I net decked off the internet, like the dirty net decker that I am. This is red, black, and mid-rangey, so it's a lot of the types of things I like to do in Magic. Cards like Lightning Bolt are legal in this format, which is sweet. We have the original Unholy Heat as well. This format's a weird mix of things because it allows you to play digital cards like Rahilda, but it also doesn't have nerfed versions of cards is my understanding. So it's kind of a weird, unique mix of things on Arena because there's no there's no other format where that's the case, which is neat. Um, so let's pop on in to playing some games of this and see how it goes. I need some people using the command and we've got the little logo with the ticker in the corner. Uh, the stream the next week is sponsored by Genshin Impact. They are a cross-platform open RPG game. My promo specifically to give me credit to help out the stream is just for mobile, though. As a special thank you to anybody that takes the time to do that, if you install Genshin on Android or iOS using my link there and then play to Adventure Rank 6, you can get a one-month sub-gift to the channel. If you play through to Adventure Rank 8, I will hook you up with a three-month sub-gift to the channel. So if you want an easy way to support my stuff, if you haven't played Genshin before, check it out. We'll be playing it at the end of the stream today and tomorrow. We mulligan no red mana, right? Well, there's no free mulligan in this format either. Noted. We have Demonic Tutor, though. That's for sure. And Sam looks great. Meredith, thank you for the over three years. Welcome back. You don't have Arena set. Oh, because I reinstalled Arena. Got it. Hold on. Hold, please. My Magic Arena was so broken after the update, I uh, I had to reinstall the client. Well, it looks like it lost some of my audio settings. Mm -hmm. We have audio now. Think we have audio now? Hey, what's going on, Sadness? Thanks for 33 months. Welcome back. That's true. We have we have sound for now. The sound inevitably disappears. What is this game board, by the way? Is this new or is this just a board I haven't seen before? I think we're just binning anything here because we're about to shuffle our deck and I just want to work towards the delirium here. So I kind of want to get a three drop. We just grab Fable, right? Seems kind of great. Uh, I have not played any Genshin before. What's going on, Zian Grief? Thanks for the two and a half years. Welcome back. I've heard a lot of good things about it, though. A lot of damage is shit. We also started 20 in this format. What's 
going on, Garrick? Thank you for the 45 months. It's a long time. Welcome back. When Patron of Flames attacks, put a flame counter on it, then seek a card, bad ability, because there are flame counters on it, exile that face down. When it dies, pull the cards you own. Being of your next turn, exile those cards. Weird design. So it's like a Beaumont Courier that only lasts for a turn. It feels like we're just dead here, right? Getting an error trying to use the Genshin link across multiple browsers. All right, let me let me take a look here real quick on my own. I actually didn't check it myself. My manager, account manager, just told me it was live. Took me right to Google Play here. Looks like, looks like it's working as expected. Are you on uh, iOS or, or Android? All right, looks like we have died. One thing that's interesting about this format is it is best of three, which I generally like, but it doesn't have sideboards. You just like click submit. This is different from Brawl. There's no commanders and it's best of three. It's also, uh, there's no, it's 20 life instead of 25. No third land here, but if we find the third land, we get to get going with Fable. And if we don't find the third land, we have a Crocs to cast at least. I guess if we brick the land, maybe we just discard the Crocs for the Blood Token, actually. Nice. Nailed it. I'm just going to go ahead and kill the Gallon Greeters here, I think. Gandalf. Hey, Arslan. Thanks for the, the four months. Appreciate the third of the year. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. Fitting Crocs. Uh, I've been the... Is that crazy to bin demonic tutor? What do we think? I almost I almost want to bin the demonic tutor. I feel like my hand is pretty reasonable, right? I know, yeah, it's just taking crazy pills. This specializes from the graveyard. That's an interesting design. And then it puts itself back into play. So we're gonna make the black one. This card specializes ready zone. You may sacrifice a creature if you do draw two cards and each opponent loses two life. Up to four cards in our bin.
You want to do extinction event the war boss? I kind of want to keep the extinction event as a break glass in case of emergency type situation. Yeah, yeah, the thing that uh, kind of tripping me up about this format too is that I'm not sure if I like is it's digital only cards are legal, but digital erratas of paper cards are not. So it uses the base paper boomer version of things like Darcy and Unholy Heat, but digital like specialized things exist. Which I feel, I feel like that's a weird distinction to have. It's confusing and inconsistent with the other formats on the platform. I feel like there should be no digital cards or it should be using all the historic variants of cards should probably be the case. So the 41 months Wolfwood, welcome back. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel like, well, and that, that type of thing, that's like, that's probably a symptom of like, their community people decided that. Yeah, I don't, I, 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 I'll, I agree with that. I don't think it's a power level issue that I think that that's weird. I think it's a, um... It's, uh, are we sure this is what we want to be doing and for what people expect on the platform type thing? All right, sweet. And now this is black and you can scry. And this is untapped on three. Yeah, I think I would just love a guaranteed fourth land. Goo three, thanks for the two and a half years. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, I understand what they were attempting to do, Horizon, but just from a, a player experience type thing, it's not like a great player experience. Especially if you're like trying to make your, if you want your format to be like accessible to people that play the platform and like have a good understanding. Oh, that's actually a really fun idea, Win Magus. That was that was always one of my favorite things about how Mythgard did their setup. The uh, you can only have so many cards of each rarity in your deck. I always liked that aspect. All right, so this is card number three in my bin. K command back this harvester. Maybe they're afraid of that format being too popular. Having interacted with a lot of Magic players, I doubt that that's a problem. I think we actually just like shred their hand here, right? I'm gonna get Croxa back and make them discard and then Croxa will make them discard again. I 
It depends on the, the card pull, Duck Doolittle. In a non-rotating format, maybe that's the case. That just like burn is burn is popular. Just build build our own mine rot here. This is card number five in my bid now with the K command, so just need one more in there to escape the the bad mama jamma. Some good ones. All right, give me something to point a piece of spot removal at next turn opponent. Alrighty, wish granted. I feel like maybe they have enough hits. Coco seems like such a greedy card. Take a hit here to do this so I can play Fable this turn as well rather than giving them a card. The little dancing Genshin girl fits exactly under the NordVPN logo perfectly, chat. It's like they were meant to be together. She has a little Nord VPN crown. Boy golly, do I have just the Doom Blade for you, friendo. Oh, and this actually works perfect with the land, because I could give them a card and then escape Croxa and discard it, right? I'd like to apologize to everybody at home. I didn't do my book report before we sat down, so you need to take a look here at what this does. Conjure duplicate a target creature card that was exiled with this card into your hand. It gains your base mana of any color. When this creature enters the battlefield, your opponent loses life to gain two life. When this creature specializes, conjure duplicate of the card exiled this way. It gains plus one attack and haste. Get mana as though it was mana of any color. Got it. All right, so we can exile stuff, and then we can make copies of what we've exiled. People, like, people make fun of, myself included, the amount of words on these cards, but, like, all of the variations are similar, right? Like, once you, once you read the first bit on one of them, you know... You know what the rest of them do, approximately. Like, their stat lines are even all the same. I can't reflection anything currently because it's non-legendary. No, Jeff, alchemy cards are bad. There are no exceptions. Sorry, I apologize. 22 months? How many days of March does that make it? A long time. It's been a long time coming. Oh, -ho! double shillionaire silence. It's 
just exile a bunch of friends for the sake of it. Stomp on the reef and attack for lethal. Hey, hey, look at, look at silence really helping that trickle down economy chat. They've now reduced the cost of shillionaire by not one, but two for all of the little people at home. 999,918 shillings. It really is true, chat. The first shillion is the hardest. This queue time is so fast compared to what I've been used to on on the ladder lately. What's going on, Dougie? Thanks for the big 5-0. Appreciate the over four years. Welcome back. White one drop meat hook massacre the way the good lord intended it, chip. Appreciate you, Magus. Oh, wait, we're blocking this. We'll, uh, turn this into a 3 4 next turn. I guess they're probably banishing lighting it, huh? Hey, JMK, thank you for the super generous tier 2 and for the 52 months. Welcome back. How many double shill eaters do we have? I think um, Silence is the third, if I recall correctly. I'm gonna fable. So I stem the bleeding a little bit before we rev up the meat hook. Hopefully they go land and play the three bin watcher would be great for us. Sick. Just like we drew it up. Do I want three life or a treasure token? I think I want a treasure token. I'm actually pretty happy with my hand that I'm just discarding that land. Lacking on Friday, getting over COVID. Thank you for the 43 months, Juggalo. Hope your recovery goes swiftly. Feel better soon. Uh, there is a special event up for the next couple of days blong for the gladiator format which is 100 card single dead is what we are playing this afternoon giving it giving it a try this first deck goes well we might do a second today and we'll see what metrics look like, and maybe we'll do one more tomorrow. 
Uh, the promo for Genshin will be up for, for a week. I obviously will be away in London for part of that time, but you'll have you'll have through Friday or through uh, Thursday next week to do it. Can you send me send me a screenshot of your account at that level before then we'll get you hooked up. It is it is like a full open world RPG though, so it is not not a small download. A lot of a lot of content in it, I'm told. Like to moltenly impact you, Skyline Savior. Is this good against white aggro on the drop? Probably not. No ones or twos. No lands. Uh, not great, but we're at five, so we'll keep. one so get a little aggressive here now no denny thank you for the 15 months appreciate that welcome back playing enchantments against my rakdos deck chat A trigger robber of the rich here. It might be right to just get Fable going though. Or are they thinking about discarding a card to deny me the trigger? Judd being good and historic is the best Christmas present I've ever received in Gladiator's Bed of Hoot. Thanks for the biddies, Lumberg Falls. Uh, I had to fully install or reinstall Arena after the patch last night. I tried to I tried to load up to uh, import some Gladiator decks before this morning, and it was just like hard locking with every action I took, and re reinstalling fixed it. So their patch must be corrupting something. A uh, trade robber of the rich for a card in their hand. Ooh, that's a nice one. Nah, I think that's a fine submission silence. I fully expect to get some of those in the regular. Yeah, if you just want to ship me eight, ship me a list. I'm down. It turns out the poll you posted in chat yesterday was too optimistic. Next time we need a breaks the client to the point of needing a reinstall option. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It's just sad. Oh my god, I thought, how, wait, is it getting rid of my stops? 
So I had intended to K command kill this, make them discard this card during their upkeep. But my stop like disappeared or I like clicked off of it in the exact wrong spot. I don't, I don't know what happened there, but either, either way it did not work out. So Genshin is fully cross-platform. For my promo, unfortunately, it only it only applies to uh, mobile installs. So I don't get credit if people hit the things on other platforms. But once you play your account through to level six or eight to help with the promo, if you're gonna stick with it, you can link your account and play on PC or console as well. As native, native clients everywhere. Oh, is it only PS4, PS5 for console? It's I know it's on PC as well. And this 2-1 that they shouldn't have because I misclicked. Doesn't matter, they just think they're dead to the Croxa. Alright, good boy. Good boy, Croxa. Good boy. How long did it take to, to AR6? I don't actually know. We'll uh we'll find out today. I'm starting a fresh uh, fresh account this afternoon. All the good nuts. Thank you for the 39 months. Welcome back. Oh, there's no Switch release yet for Genshin. And that makes sense. And everybody knows the only consoles that exist are the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation. I can give you an accurate answer tomorrow on how long it takes. Declan, uh, Declan learned that there were consoles other than the Switch that existed at one point. And when he found out I have a PlayStation 5 in my office, he goes, well, do you have an Xbox in there too? And I was like, no, all the games you can play on Xbox, you can just play on the computer. And he goes, well, then why would anybody want an Xbox? And I was like, Declan, that is the real question. Uh, I probably should have played the Vicious Underdog first, whatever. The kid, the kid is going places. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, but an Xbox is like the same price as a PlayStation, right? <clears throat> Alright, so let's kill this and then exile it with the Disciple. I mean, do you need a high-end PC if you're going to be happy with the graphics on a console like a mid to low-end PC will do the same thing?
Yeah, a lot of uh, console hardware, even in these current gens, is subsidized a little bit, right? In terms of what their what their price points come in at. Which is part of the reason why you couldn't get the new gen consoles when they came out. Play the underdog here. It'll be interesting to see how much that's still the case once GPU hardware comes down off the cryptocurrency crash. Because GP, GPUs were inflated for a really long time. Yeah, I know, I know the GPU market's coming down a little bit. I bet, I bet it still has, has more to go. Hey, thanks KYKY, appreciate the 14 months. I think we sack discard here. I'm just gonna get, get people empty. I don't mind sacrificing the up dog. when I keep their stuff off the board so the Shadow Spear can't take over the game. It's a neat guard. Devs are going to be able to afford to uh, have the old up dog escape here. I think I'm just doing nothing here. So I want this for a bigger threat. I want Unholy Heat to cover their crawling barons. I probably want this to buffer my life total at some point. Oh, I guess I just get to leave it. I forgot making this a creature is optional. Maybe I should discard there and get rid of the Unholy Heat. Definitely discard here, get this land into my bin, working towards delirium. Trespassers should mean we're winning the race at this point with the Baleful Mastery. This is the Baldur's Gate board for those asking, which probably haven't seen it on stream before. Wait, you can have more than 100 cards in this format? My opponent's deck has 157 cards in it, chat. I thought this was exactly 100 cards. Apparently it's a 100 card minimum. Why is Battle of Wits not, a, not an arena yet? That's a question I ask myself most weeks. Yes, companions are not allowed on this format. Thank God.
This is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So they're dead. So I think I and chat will appreciate this story. So we're getting we're getting everything packed and ready to go in an order for Christy and I to go to London next week. And I re I realized uh, the day before yesterday that um, I need to find pants to go with my suit coat because I bought the suit coat to do Unite Championship stuff, but it was all remote broadcast, so I was just, like, wearing gym shorts with my suit coat for all of the broadcasts I've done so far. And I don't, I don't actually have a nice pair of pants that goes with it, now that we're gonna be, like, on site and there will be cameras on all of me at points. Keep the gym shorts. Commit, commit to the look. I don't think, I don't think they'd appreciate that one. We have to, I have to grab a tie for next week too. Did you at least ask if they were cool with the gym shorts before you invested more? I didn't I didn't ask for gym shorts approval yet. Do you think do we think I should? Spewing value if you don't. I mean, they're tax deductible, nice pants. Just tell them it's an American thing. Well, the the company managing coverage is out of Ohio, chat. Creatures you control, deal combat damage to a player, create two treasure tokens. I get rid of their mind rod here. And bolt that one. I think I'm at a point where this card should probably be historic legal chat. What do we think? I was pretty against it when they first spoiled the Strixhaven archives, but I feel like the format's kind of powered to the point where I could see it being fine. Yeah, Lampton, Lampton, you're right there with me. He legalize lightning bolt chat. Yeah, especially with like March and other stuff existing. Well, lightning bolt does go to the dome, so it's much better in aggressively slanted decks. Secrets? 
Very well. If I faithless looting, they're gonna get to draw a card. This attacks, you may discard your hand and draw two cards. All right, I'm listening. Already, already discarded once, right? So, might as well give him the full value. So the audio bug was never super common on non-historic boards. So it looks like the gladiator format's pulling from the standard uh, game board. So it's going to be less frequent if it still exists. It's pretty good. Get in there with old Goldilocks. They're going to get to gain four with this next turn. I think we just meat hook the tiny bones off the board here. There are no nerfed cards in this format, but there are digital only cards. Is a weird distinction coming from historic. Is that actual quote patches or is that uh is that you joking? I'd be I'd be fine with that if they just pulled the broken boards out of rotation. That's the dev and me joking. I mean I, the fact that they haven't just disabled the RAV board is very annoying. That should have been done by now. Oh, yeah. That's an even more strange distinction. So if they nerf a digital only card, the digital only card actually gets nerfed in Gladiator, but any paper cards that get nerfed on arena don't get nerfed that that's way too messy and they need to just have all the nerfed cards be in this format or none of the digital only stuff call it call it paper boomer only or like fully embrace the digital please so there's there's some power level changes but not not all Okay, so do I understand this right? Exile it if you do gain four life. So if I shatter this maze mine tome, they don't gain the life here, right? Is that is that real?
It's one of those, this is how it works in paper, let's find out if it works on Arena this way moments. Hexproof from Planeswalkers. How about hexproof your face? Stompy Stompy. On the play with Rahilda, it's basically like cheating shit. I will say people calling this format Commander without Commanders, one of the nice things about this is that you're not color restricted, right? So I'm playing a red-black deck, but I can play this Jundland as an additional red-black duel. I'm not restricted out of it by uh, arbitrary Commander rules. Which feels, feels good. A little bit, a little bit more deck building decisions there with like stuff you can splash. That's a rat colony, sure is. Oh look, Chad, I drew a rat colony off of their deck. Who's surprised? I would bet the way boards are programmed in Magic Arena, it makes it logistically very difficult for them to sell game boards as a cosmetic. It's the only, only explanation for why they haven't done that. Uh, this format is only available for the weekend as a permanent queue. There are There is a community Discord server. If you find yourself enjoying this format and want to play more of it, where people coordinate matches with each other. But as far as the just queue on Arena, it will be gone after this weekend. Like to glory bang the pack rat. It is refreshing. Oh, look, we inquisition a rat colony. It is refreshing that one of the temporary formats on Arena is best of three for a change. I will say that's a very nice change of pace. That is typically not the case when they add temporary formats. These are folks using the Genshin command in chat. For anybody coming in late, we're stream sponsored by them for the next week or so. Easy way to support my content if you haven't played Genshin before is give it an install on Android or iOS and play through to Adventure Rank 6 or 8. If you get to Adventure Rank 6, you can get a one month sub gift to the channel for free as a thank you. If you get to Adventure Rank 8, you can get a three month sub gift to the channel as a thank you. You have until uh, end of day Wednesday next week to do that. We'll be playing some Genshin on stream the end of the stream today and tomorrow is an open world RPG. We're just gonna continue to train off all of our things for the rats and just hope to draw more removal spells. Yikes. Well, they're out of cards. I have a grasp for one of these. There's something like a two one left for now. 
Get our get our deck thinning on here, chat. That super statistically significant deck thinning. Major another threat. Yes, deck thinning our 100 card deck. Believe we have died yet. We got a couple of sweepers we can draw this turn. We have been, we have been over red. Game three on the play. Ooh, chat, I wonder what my Valky is going to take away from them. Do you think it will be a rat colony? God, their hand is busted, chat. How am I ever supposed to compete with that? Tainted Pact is legal in this format. Okay, that's kind of funny. Hold on to this, assuming we're going to flood. Uh, you cannot play companions in this format. Wait, Tefri Hero of Dominaria is banned in this format? Is that real? The only time Raveler. Okay. We chill in, we chill in. We will survive. Hey, hey. Do, 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 do. Well, again, to be fair, this format is not a ban list managed by wizards. So the, the ban list wizards, this is a community managed format that wizards added to the client for the weekend as a thing. All right, Chet, I believe we have survived. You wanna play with I believe we have survived the colony. The oh, remove the rest of your rats, start attacking is the pivot turn. Especially with the planeswalker getting to hang out after.
Full ban list is Field of the Dead, Natural Order, Nexus of Fate, Oko, and Tef Free Time Rambler. Okay. D, you are the promo is for new players. I will uh I will happily accept advice from existing players during this segment though. Yeah, I'm kind of uh I'm curious to see how this campaign promo goes cuz I know Genshin is a pretty popular game. So I'm curious to see if there are people here that haven't tried it before that are going to We actually, we actually have a Genshin Impact channel in the subs Discord server already. Because people have been chatting about it in there for a while, but I've never heard, had the time to pick it up. So they offered to do a so I was like, yeah, I've been meaning to try that. Let's do it. Ricked on the land. Get it got. I think, based on my hand, I'm casting Lay of the Land here. Womp. ramping up into <laughs> the city stalker connoisseur has got to take something big out of their hand right you wish to know my secrets very well and they had to choose between two different cards there which would imply that they have another eight drop in their hand Okay, so you get to trade Vorn Clicks for City Stalker and Soren here. Use my sudden egress. I'm gonna attack for two and then I'm gonna extinction event evens here. Clean our friends out. Yeah, it could be something like Ugin in hand for them. Or maybe I just read that wrong. Maybe they weren't choosing. They must not have been choosing, huh? Maybe it doesn't auto-discard anymore. I thought it auto-discarded. You only had one valid thing to discard. Maybe it doesn't anymore. Let's get the Fable going here. Feels like we're sliding firmly into garbage time here. So we'll discard the Bedevil to kick this. 
Oh, they had an activation up on their other thing. Okay, yeah, that was totally it then. Oh, I missed lethal, right? I could have uh, crewed the bank buster with this. All right, this is three to crew. Once upon a time, Watsi did animations for all the mythics and most playable cards. Yep. Hey, I'm glad you're having fun, Drum. I've heard a lot of good things, especially about their uh, their uh, single player mode. Their current constructed format needs a balance patch, I'm told, at the top level, but they're also supposed to be getting one of those soon. This is salt. Hopefully, they just like had something happen. I don't know why there's a reason to be salty about a format with no entry fee that you can just concede at any time for no penalty. Listen, chat. As someone who's literally had to walk away from a game of Magic Arena to clean crap off of walls, don't assume the worst. Real life happens. Who is that, Kenex? It's not a name I'm familiar with. Yeah, it looks like they were DC'd. Let's do one or two more with this, then we'll try a different deck. Try a couple different gladiator things. Interested to see how these do on YouTube tonight. May or may not do another tomorrow. Quality of the games has felt reasonable so far that we've played for the first hour this morning. What's going on, Andrew? Thank you for the 67 months. Energy, attack, you pay energy. Chat, I need all of you to give Andrew your collective energy because he and his significant other have agreed to watch my spawn for five of the seven days Christy and I are gone. And I've told them they're very well behaved. Okay? I think 
we kill this, right? Because otherwise it draws a card next turn. It's their fault for believing a lie. <laughs> um, I've told I've told this story on stream before, but uh, Andrew's actually the reason, chat, that I'm here. He was. He's one of the people. He's one of the people I played. I played F and M with back in the day, and it was his idea to go to a Star City Games Open the first time we went. So it's his, yeah, so thank him if you enjoy being here, or if you're a member of Magic Twitter, perhaps consider cussing him out. I think we just offer the trade a rankle for the rock here. Oh, you thought the kids were coming with me? No chat. Taking a two-year-old on an eight-hour plane ride sounds awful. Like, we're, we're almost at a point where I would, like, maybe consider taking the boys on a plane ride somewhere. Because, like, they're, like, old enough to be reasoned with. And they, like, have devices that can keep them entertained. But, like, no. Eight hours on a plane with a two-year-old sounds like misery incarnate. Yeah, yeah, even even my seven and eight year old might be borderline. Okay, so now we We were flying last week, and there, while we were waiting to board, I'm guessing there was around a four-year-old screaming at his parents, I am being quiet. Well, to be fair, they probably were being quiet by their standards. I frequently say my children have only one volume. Just obedience. Just obedience. <laughs> Your punishment is my entertainment. Their volume is yes. All right, and then Dinkle here can shred the devil for the quartermaster if their hand card in hand is a blank. What's going on, Zappa? Thanks for the forty months. Welcome back. Buy me, and you lose everything. Love a draw too. I think we're into garbage time at this point. be your shield. That's cute. They have various pacifisms that Elspeth can find.
I'll spend trying to fight off Bob Dixless. It is, it is solid flavor. We're on the draw here, so I think I'm going to keep the two-lander. We've also got, like, Bolt for their first play, and this is a follow-up. This is four. I guess we're just holding up Doom Blades this turn, huh? Crack them for three. They missed a land drop. This game's probably done. Can we, can we get garbage time here? Am I streaming my Pokemon stuff in London? Well, I personally won't be broadcasting it, but it'll be up on twitch.tv forward slash Pokemon Unite on the 19th and the 20th. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to set it to host on this channel. Yeah, yeah, I'll set it. I'll set it to uh, to host there. I don't know. I don't intend to do like vlog style stuff. It's been. Probably four or five years since Christy and I took a trip without children, so time I'm not dedicated to Pokemon. We're going to be doing stuff together. I did, I did, for people that enjoy Unite stuff, I did finish editing, um, well, that's a hand. Um, I did finish editing Pokemon Unite YouTube highlights through the 22nd, though. So those will continue to get the 10-minute match highlight there with a different character every day straight through there. And I plan to tee up uh, four or five um, Marvel Snap deck highlights for that channel while I'm gone as well. Uh, I want a second red here, right? We got plenty of black. Definitely not discarding our five cards for two. Is it too aggro to bolt their face to draw a card here? I kind of want to get my hand empty for the Citadel Agent anyways, right? Oh my god, I just clicked take action by mistake because I was looking at the Robber of the Rich. Mistakes have been made, chat. Mistakes have been made. Hopefully, hopefully we don't need that bolt impact, huh? That was Gladiator. The quality of the games has been reasonable so far today. Even, even... I, I will say this. The... Best of three without sideboards has really reinforced to me just how important it is, even just getting to make intelligent mulliganing decisions in post-board games. And that's a, that's a big part of why I like Magic as a best of three game is there's so many non-games of Magic in best of one, not only because of resource variants, but also because... Oh, I kept this hand that's good against control and they're playing aggro. Oh, I kept this hand that's good against aggro and they're playing playing control. Like, that's it's a whole nother layer of 
I didn't get to play a meaningful game or match because mulligans didn't matter. and I didn't get to choose. I, did, I didn't get to make relevant choices. I mean, that's not even just a strictly strictly mid-range thing, right, James? Like, even even aggro decks will have hands where they're like, okay, I need to mulligan this for a better curve against control, but I can keep it against another creature deck. It's definitely uh, more prominent in your mid-range decks, but it's not exclusively a mid-range problem. Yes, and the fact that it's 100 card singleton without commander means a lot of the games, the texture feels genuinely different game to game over the course of the set. Format seems to provide a good source of varied gameplay. Uh, I would like to block, please. Yes, I am to give, we criticize plenty of Watsi's bad decisions. There's no shortage of those. But to give credit where credit is due, Wizards has very appropriately identified in the last year that leaning into a variety of play modes is a good thing. As someone who's played a lot of different card games and digital card games at this point, the strongest selling point of Magic the Gathering as a game is variety of ways to play it. Even other older games like um, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, they don't offer the same depth of play modes that Magic does at this point. Oh, wait. Uh... Okay, I was just expecting them to exert this, and then they didn't. So the reason why I didn't block with my first striker is I wasn't expecting to be able to. Apologies. Let's take the unholy heat here. Yes, Marty, you definitely feel the lack of actual matchmaking in some spots in a queue like this. It's definitely, definitely a big true scenario. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! actually doesn't even have rotating versus non-rotating is my understanding. Can anybody confirm this? Yu-Gi-Oh! is literally just one constructed format, right? Especially as far as competitive stuff is concerned. They don't have like modern pioneer standard legacy, etc. Everything is legal with bands. Okay. It's basically only the equivalent of vintage less legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is one of the reasons why their cards have so many words, right? Because they just like constantly power creep everything. Yeah, the rotation is power creep is my understanding. That was, that was my understanding of it as well. All right, so we get to the first seven. There's got to be a Doomblade in our top seven, right? Okay, uh, rather than casting Feed the Swarm and losing four, I'm going to Demonic Tutor and grab a removal spell that doesn't kill us. Oh, or we could grab Molten Impact off of that, and now this can grab me a different piece of candy. Like a different dragon here.
Yeah, there be Dargans. It definitely feels like we are bigger fishing this, uh, this red black component. Yeah, yeah, it definitely feels like our opponent needs to end the game by like turn six at the latest. We're gonna take over. No, untapped land here is maybe a little suspect, but what did what did my kids say? It's sus. Nailed it. Never didn't have it. True skill game. As long as it's your turn, this has first strike. Oh, we have quick attack, Chet. We have quick attack at home. I'm just fetching a Doom Blade here. an impact so we can get something else later. Nixilis out here without casualty, I think. Just get him going. <laughs> I don't need respect. Oh, Just don't I be the up for you. All right, chick, kick it. doing business with you. Just attack for three here, so that way if they want to... Yeah. Attack with this, they can't kill my thing. Eight. First deck went pretty all right. One thing, uh, as far as, like, deck highlights go, one of the things that doesn't really work well for these singleton formats with my deck highlight format here on the stream is... I don't really have specifics about a deck list that I'm importing and grabbing when there's a hundred different cards like this, like the number of games you need to play to get a feel for cards that work versus don't work is so high. So I don't really have any specific feedback on it, but I enjoyed the games that we played. Let's try, let's try another deck, huh? 